வியூவர்ஸ் என்னோடய வீடியோஸ் பிடிச்சிருந்தாலும் லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் இது வரைக்கும் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணாதுங்க சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் ரைட் சைடில் இருக்கக்கூடிய பெல் பட்டனை கிளிக் பண்ணுங்கள் நீங்கள் கொடுக்குற ஒவ்வொரு லைக்ஸும் நான் நிறைய வீடியோஸ் அப்லோட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு மோட்டிவேட்டாக இருக்குது ஸோ லைக் ஷேர் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அண்ட் கமெண்ட் மை வீடியோ ஹாய் வியூவர்ஸ் இன்னைக்கு நம்ம பார்க்க போகிற டாபிக் கிளாஸ் செவன் டேர்ம் ஒன் ஜியாகிரஃபி யூனிக் டூ லேண்ட்ஃபார்ம்ஸ் learning objectives to acquaint ourselves with to know the landforms which are created by river to describe the landforms which are created by glacial action to classify the landforms which are produced by wind action to identify the various landforms about sea wave to compile the landforms which are produced by the work of a river glacier wind and sea waves in the earlier class we have learned that the surface of the earth is not the same everywhere The earth has an infinite variety of landforms named mountains, plateaus, plains, valley etc. Some parts of the lithosphere litho means rocks, maybe rugged, rugged means uneven and some flat. These landforms are a result of two processes. Number 1, the endogenic process, number 2, the exogenic process. Number 1, the endogenic process, that is internal process leads to the upliftment and sinking of the earth surface at several places. Number 2 the exogenic process that is external process is the continuous wearing down and rebuilding of the land surface gradation gradation means successive changes or next stages is the process of leveling of highlands through erosion erosion means wearing away and filling up of lowlands through deposition deposition means accumulation landforms the landscape is being continuously worn away by two processes number 1 weathering and number 2 erosion weathering weathering is the breaking and falling apart into small pieces of rocks on the earth surface so breaking of small pieces of rocks erosion is the wearing away of landscape by different agents like water wind ice and sea waves the eroded material is carried away by water wind etc and eventually deposited means accumulated This process of erosion and deposition create different landforms on the surface of the earth. Now let us see about the landforms associated or created by river. The water flowing from a source to river mouth along a definite course is called a river. Rivers generally originate from a mountain or hill. Look at the image the landforms created by river. river source the place of origin of the river is known as its source first landform is waterfall that is falling of river water over a vertical step in the river bed then tributary river that flows into and joins a main river then see meander that is when the river enters the plain it twists and turns forming large bends called meander then from the meander the loops cut off from the river and forms a lake that is called oxbow lake then flood plain and see the delta collection of sediments from all the mouths form a delta at last it joins the ocean the place of origin of the river is known as its source the place where it joins a lake or sea or an ocean is known as the river mouth the running water in the river erodes the landscape which creates a steep singut sided valley like letter v known as v shaped valley what is waterfall falling of river water over a vertical step in the river bed is called waterfall it is formed when the soft rocks are removed by erosion example kutralam falls across the river chittar in tamil nadu do you know The highest waterfall is Angel Falls of Peninsula in South America. The other waterfalls are Niagara Falls located on the border between Canada and USA in North America and Victoria Falls on the borders of Zambia and Zimbabwe in Africa. Do you know tributary Tunai Nadi, a stream or river that flows into and joins a main river? Distributary, a stream that branches off and flows away from a main stream. that is the river that flows away from the main stream and does not rejoin it plank pool is a hollow feature at the base of a waterfall which is formed by cavitation cavitation is nothing but the formation of empty space 
alluvial fan is a deposition of sediment occurs at which the river enters the plain or the foothills look at the picture it is called meanders that is as the river enters the plain it twists and turns forming large bends known as meanders example meanders along the river vellar near setia top in kadalur district tamil nadu due to continuous erosion and deposition along the sides of the meander the ends of the meander loop comes closer and closer in due course of time the meander loop cuts off from the river and forms a cut off lake called an oxbow lake look at the image erosion makes neck narrow during floods river takes shortest course through neck oxbow lake formed do you know the term meander has been named on the basis of meander river of asia minor turkey it flows through numerous curves and turns at times the river overflows its banks this leads to the flooding of the neighboring areas as the river floods it deposits layers of fine soil and other material called sediments along its banks this leads to the formation of a flat fertile flat plain the raised banks are called levees as the river approaches the sea the speed of the flowing water decreases and the river begins to break up into a number of streams called distributaries the velocity that is the speed of the river becomes so slow that it begins to deposit its load each distributary forms its own mouth the collection of sediments from all the mouths form delta deltas are excellent productivity lands they have more minerals which favor cultivation example cauvery delta ganges delta mississippi delta now let us see about glacier a large body of ice moving slowly down a slope or valley due to gravity is called a glacier glaciers are grouped into two number 1 mountain or valley glaciers number 2 continental glaciers continental glacier the glacier covering vast areas of a continent with thick ice sheets example antarctica greenland mountain or valley glacier is a stream of ice flowing along a valley it usually flows former river courses and are bounded by steep sides example the himalayas and the alps glaciers erode the landscape by leveling soil and stones to expose the solid rock below cirque is a glacially eroded rock basin with a steep side wall and steep head wall surrounding an armchair shaped depression example cory scotland united kingdom car germany that is cirque is called as cory in scotland and car in germany as the ice melts they get filled up the cirque with water and become beautiful lakes in the mountains called as tarn lake when two adjacent cirques erode towards each other the previously rounded landscape is transformed into a narrow rocky steep sided ridge called aratis look at the image u shaped valley is found beneath the glaciers which is deepened and widened by the lateral and vertical erosion the material carried by the glaciers such as rocks big and small sand and silt get deposited these deposits form glacial moraines now let us see about the landforms formed by wind have you ever visited a desert try to collect some pictures of sand dunes an active agent of erosion and deposition in the deserts is wind in deserts you can see rocks in the shape of a mushroom commonly called mushroom rocks winds erode the lower section of the rock more than the upper part therefore such rocks have narrower base and wider top an isolated residual hill standing like a pillar with rounded tops are called inselbergs example inselberg in the kalahari desert of south africa when the wind blows it lifts and transports sand from one place to another when it stops blowing the sand falls and gets deposited in low hill like structures these are called sand dunes the crescent shaped sand dunes are called barchans when the grains of sand are very fine and light 
the wind can carry it over very long distance when such sand is deposited in large areas it is called loess large deposit of loess are found in china do you know northern china loess deposits abroad from the gobi desert now let us see about the landforms associated with coast a part of the land adjoining or near the sea is called the sea coast the boundary of a coast where land meets water is called the coastline the coastal areas are subject to change due to wave erosion and wave deposition the erosion and deposition of the sea waves give rise to coastal landforms sea cliffs or steep rock faces formed when the sea waves dash against them sea waves continuously strike at the rocks cracks develop over time they become larger and wider thus hollow like caves are formed on the rocks they are called sea caves look at the image of sea cliffs sea cave as the cavities of sea caves become bigger and bigger only the roof of the caves remain thus forming sea arches further erosion breaks the roof and only walls are left these wall like features are called stakes look at the coastal landforms due to wave erosion and wave deposition coastal lagoon coastal dunes bay river delta sand spit headland sea cliff sea arc beach sea stake sea stump ocean the sea waves deposit sediments of sand and gravel along the shores forming beaches sand bar is an elongated deposition of sand or mud found in the sea almost parallel to the coast do you know the second longest beach in the world is the marina beach in chennai lagoon is a shallow stretch of water partially or completely separated from the sea example chilka lake in odisha pulket lake in tamil nadu and andhra pradesh and vembanad lake in kerala are the famous lagoons in india Thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel for more videos it will be useful for your competitive exam